I'm also just a girl. Standing in front of a boy. Asking him to love her. When the rain is blowing in your face and the whole world is on your case, I could offer you a warm embrace to make you feel my love. When the evening shadows and the stars appear and there's no one there to dry your tears, I could hold you for a million years to make you feel my love. No, this was not for you. I'm sorry. I mean, I didn't compose these lines. Out of millions of songs dedicated to love, this one by Adele is a favorite during the Valentine season. February 14th, commonly known as Valentine's Day, is the most awaited day of the year for any couple lovers, one-sided lovers, awkward lovers and in some case, creepy ones. Okay, I think I made my point. When love is in the air and all we see is red and white, the colors resonating the feeling of love, affection. For the uninitiated, the day gets its name from a mysterious saint. Though it is believed that it could owe its origins to more than one person, its true origin is still very vague. While Valentine's Day might be associated with romantic love, the real story behind its namesake Saint Valentine is full of bloodshed and heartbreak. Interested? Well, let's dive in the video and find out how did Valentine's Day start. There are multiple Saint Valentines in history. and the historical origins of the figure are shaky with some believing he was a myth of worship while others believe he was a real person the most likely historical figure of saint valentine is valentine di terni according to an article on the saint in the academic journal repertorio di medicina a roman saint from the 3rd century valentine di terni was thrown into jail for secretly marrying couples against the wishes of emperor claudius ii who put forth an edict banning marriage for military personnel the emperor believed that marriage would distract his military and make them less efficient on the battlefield mm, debatable Well according to the legend the day is celebrated to mark the death anniversary of this saint who died in mid February in 270 AD it is said that saint valentine was a priest who defied the emperor's orders and because he secretly married couples to spare husbands from war he was reportedly beheaded by the emperor harsh so what is the history and legends around valentine's day Well the origin of Valentine's Day can be traced back to Lupercalia a Roman festival for fertility it is believed that the day was celebrated as an attempt by the church to add a religious twist to Lupercalia festival the festival was dedicated to Faunus the god of agriculture and Romulus and Remus the founders of Rome During the celebration men and women were paired based on a lottery system and most of them eventually ended in marriage well that sort of tinder but advanced at the end of the 5th century pope gelasius 1 decided the time of lupercalia celebrations as the date to celebrate saint valentine so Who exactly was the Saint Valentine and what does he have to do with chocolate hearts and red balloons? Not much it turns out. Saint Valentine's Day was a feast day in the Catholic religion. The day was commemorated for the martyred saint named you guessed it right, Valentine. Differing legends celebrate three different saints called Valentine or Valentinus. But since very little was known about these men and there were conflicting reports of the Saint Valentine's Day story, the feast day was removed from the Christian calendar in 1969. But even though not much is known about the real history of the saint, Valentines on whom the holiday is based, the legend of Saint Valentine has several tellings. 
One says that he refused to convert to paganism and was executed by the Roman Emperor Claudius II. Prior to his death, he was able to miraculously heal the daughter of his jailer, who then converted to Christianity along with his family. Another legend says a bishop called Saint Valentine of Terni is the true namesake of the holiday, and he was also executed. Although it is believed by the people that they are the same person, Saint Valentine became known as a patron saint of love. It was also said that he used to wear a ring with a cupid on it, the symbol of love. Mm, too cliche. The poet Chaucer in the Middle Ages was the first to link Saint Valentine with romantic love. This was the beginning of the tradition of courtly love. a ritual of expressing love and admiration usually in secret this custom spread throughout europe and stories grew about a high court of love where female judges would rule on issues related to love on 14th february each year historians believe that these meetings were in fact gatherings where people read love poetry and played games of flirtation So how did Valentine's Day develop? Well it wasn't until more than 200 years later that 14 February was proclaimed Saint Valentine's Day. By this time Rome had become Christian and the Catholic Church was determined to stamp out any remaining paganism. A pagan fertility ritual that was held in February each year and the Pope abolished this festival and proclaimed 14 February Saint Valentine's Day. thus establishing this feast day on the catholic calendar of saints what are the valentine's day symbols well i am aware that right now you are thinking about chocolates and hearts and red and all the many gifts that you come across on the famous amazon sites but the practice of sending love messages was the first one this practice developed into people sending special cards expressing their affection These cards were beautiful creations handmade by the sender and individually designed to show how much they loved the recipient. Cards would usually contain sentimental verses proclaiming the beauty of the receiver and how much they were loved. Saint Valentine's Day cards were decorated with pictures of Cupid, hearts and flowers and trimmed with lace and ribbon. These images are still used today to symbolize love. and are recognized all over the world. So what is Valentine's Day in the contemporary times? Well, while Valentine's Day is celebrated in most countries, different cultures have developed their own traditions for this festival. In some parts of the world, Valentine's Day is observed as a day for expressing love between family members and friends, rather than that of romantic couples. Some traditions include leaving lollies and gifts for children and others including acts of appreciation between friends. Valentine's Day is most commonly associated with romantic love with millions of Valentine's Day cards being exchanged each year. Gifts of flowers or a single red rose are sent with romantic messages to loved ones and couples who send special time together. Many couples choose to celebrate Valentine's Day with a dinner, a picnic or a special home cooked meal. Many restaurants offer Valentine's Day dinner promotions and food is often presented with symbols of love like hearts and flowers. Another popular Valentine's Day activity is to indulge in a luxury hotel stay in beautiful locations, allowing a couple to get away from it all and enjoy some quality time together. Marriage proposals are also popular on Valentine's Day and it is often chosen as the perfect day to express their love and commitment. Some marriage proposals are delivered very creatively such as after climbing the top of a mountain or posting a message on a billboard. Well whatever the method is, marriage proposals made on Valentine's Day are generally romantic and memorable. But while we are talking about all this love and romance to all that single squad out there I feel y'all. And to those stepping towards the journey of love, all the best my soldiers. But you know, you can spare some of your love for us too. For our channel, for our Vault of Vox family and hit that red subscribe button to show your appreciation for our work.
So go ahead, you know the drill. Like our video, share it with our fellow enthusiasts, comment down below if you have anything to share about your experience with Valentine's in love. Until we meet next, stay curious, stay awesome. Volt of Vokes, signing off.